Are you ready to keep going on your four by five quilt blocks? They are very addictive. I'm getting a lot of comments on how addicting they are. But this week we're gonna be doing box 37 and 38. <music> Kind of a new beginning here and a fresh start along the Continental Divide with spring arriving. Uh, the snow is receding up the mountainside and the creek as I step outside my studio door is really loud. It is rushing and full of water, which is a good thing come this summer for our ranchers and our, our agriculture area in which I live. Uh, this last week I did have a great spring break. I got to go to Moab, Utah for a few days and do some four by fouring, let's call it. <laughs> kind of scary in parts, but um, I had a good time. Um, I also got to attend a quilt retreat, which is something that's always a huge treat. And I read a really good book that I'll do a book review here in just a second. But um, the blocks really quick that we're going to be doing this week. Uh, this is number 37. It's called Miss Nelson. I don't have access to my book right now, and I'm pretty sure that's the name of this one. But um, this block reminds me of a present. If you, if you think of this as the curly ribbon and this is the bow, this block reminds me of um, a, a present. It, it, it was really fun. It was a present to me to put together. It was really fun, a lot of pieces, but like I said, these blocks are really addictive. Um, much smaller, you would think they'd be more stressful, but they're smaller um, blocks to work on. And I, I find them just very um, therapeutic, very, very therapeutic. Uh, the One of the quilt retreat attendees that I was attending with, she made the comment that she thought they looked very therapeutic, and they are. Thank you, Cree, for that comment. Um, this one is number 38, and it's called Monkey Wrench. And it's just an elongated churned ash block, very traditional block. It's just that this one's a little bit more elongated than normal. Normally, they'd be square, like most of our quilt blocks are perfectly square, but these are rectangles. So it's an elongated version. Um, both of these blocks, when you turn them around, they look like a spider. This one, I think, looks like a scorpion. This one looks kind of like a, I don't know, just a spider. <laughs> um but anyway, both of them were really, really fun to put together. I, I, I enjoyed both of them. Uh, we'll probably only be doing two blocks for the next two or three weeks. I'm kind of spread thin with some um, family commitments and in, in the end of tax season. So uh, if you're a little bit behind, get caught up or you can move ahead too. It's okay, whatever you'd like to do. I just like uh, sewing and showing you these quilt blocks. Again, I think this book is... Um, an amazing book. It I, I compare this quilt to the Jane Sickle quilt from um, the 1700s. I want to say it was 1700s that the Jane Sickle quilt was was put together. I've seen that one in person in a museum, and uh, the Jane Sickle quilt had lots and lots of pieces. And even though this one is not hand pieced, uh, I still consider it a modern day version of of the Jane Sickle quilt. Um, it's going to be a really fun, fun quilt and a, and a lifetime accomplishment for me to work on these small blocks. This is the book I read on spring break. And um, amazing, amazing story. It's based on a true story. And uh, he met her for the first time when he was a prisoner of war, and so was she, in Auschwitz and Birkenau. And... He met her for the first time when he had to tattoo her number, her prisoner of war number on her arm, and he immediately fell in love with her. And this book is just such a um, stark reminder of our of our dark past. And even out of that, this love story evolves. I'm not gonna tell you the ending. 
um, but this love story evolves and he, you can see him in everyday life. They were just trying to survive. She was in the Canada and he was the tattooist and he got her a little bit better job from the Canada, which is a place where she had to rummage through um, clothing and retrieve jewels and money and the belongings of other prisoners and she got to go, he got her a job in the administration building. So he just protected her, he could get her extra rations. He was very brave in um, doing what he could to ease her burden um, during the two and a half years they were prisoners there. Um, and I won't, I won't spoil the ending, but it is a very good, very, very good book. It actually opened my eyes as to um, a couple of historical points that I was not aware of. Um, and I won't tell you what those were, but I truly am blessed to live when I live. I mean, yes, we all have trials and tribulations, but I am blessed to live in this time era. Um, a lot of my friends say I was born about 200 years too late because I love everything old. I love um, the colonial era and the Revolutionary War, but I truly uh, see what these people went through and I am just incredibly blessed, incredibly blessed by my life. I, I have a good life. I'm not going to complain. The last thing I would like to mention is that opportunity to have your quilt quilted for free here on my long arm. I have had my long arm since 2004. It is a gamel. It is not a statler stitcher, but it is stitch regulated. I can um, pretty much do whatever pattern you would like if you would... Um, like to enter for that chance. What I'm going to be doing is towards the end of all of sewing all these blocks, we will be putting down some ground rules, although I will tell you it will need to have at least a hundred or not maybe even 125 of the blocks done in order for you to make. Um, I don't think it's fair that somebody does just like a number of blocks for a small table runner or a baby quilt or even a small wall hanging and, and, and win the prize that so many other people have uh, labored um, and quilters have labored to earn the chance to win their quilt top quilted for free. Quilting is not cheap. <laughs> um, so I think, I think it would have to be a substantial amount of blocks that you would have to complete. You don't have to complete all of them. Um, and like I said, the ones that are not your favorite, you don't have to do. If you're a beginning quilter, just do the easy ones and maybe do one or two of them. Um, but you would have to do at least 100 or 125 blocks to be eligible to win the free quilting job that I will give away at the end of the, the quilt song along here. So um, in closing, have a good week. Um, it's going to be a busy one here for me for the next two or three weeks. Uh, the end of tax season, and like I said, some family commitments. So um, enjoy and happy piecing.